Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about MT Gox and how they could cause another sell-off of ETH, XRP, and other coins. But before that, I'd like to remind you that if you want to join me on my live stream tonight or um, any other time on my live stream, please click um, one of the links below in the description or the first comment. I will post the link to my live stream channel in the first comment in the comments section i'll pin it also subscribe to my other channel it's called the crypto daily updates in this um channel i'll actually do like single coin news or um just like theoretical like how much will x coin uh, grow to plus some other like your theory crafting stuff here but on that channel i'll have all the day's important crypto news all gathered in one place in one video per day so if you just like short snappy one video per day 10 15 minutes to get all your crypto uh, updates subscribe to that channel it's called the crypto update channel all right let's get out of that out of the way and now we're going to talk about this uh problem with mt gox now mt gox have said they might actually sell off some cryptocurrency in order to pay off debts now they've been talking about this for a long time but they're actually doing it now and here's the thing the main thing it's going to hit is not bitcoin or bitcoin cash it's probably going to be ethereum and xrp or whatever other assets they actually have litecoin perhaps as well. You know, MT Gox, that evil exchange, which evil hackers targeted and stole a lot of Bitcoin from back in the elder days of 2013, I believe. Yes, all those people, fools running MT Gox, let their exchange got hacked. It might've been purposely and they might've gotten away with it. We don't really know. And that exchange, that was about a year after the warlord Jed McCaleb actually sold it and he might have had something to do with it we really don't know what happened onto mt gox but a lot of like 10 percent or something like of all bitcoin actually got hacked and now uh, for those losses the trust fund person taking care of mt gox has said he will actually give out either cryptocurrency or liquidate cryptocurrency um to actually pay those losses now i'm not exactly sure what the distribution of mt gox's coins were i know they had the most bitcoin they had some bitcoin cash they probably had some ethereum and xrp too because that would actually make sense those are the second and third largest coins and they were pretty big even back in 2013 as well so they probably have some of those they probably have some light coin as well other coins i'm not really sure so here's the thing with uh mt gox now Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash might actually be the least hit, even though they probably have the most of those coins, the hackers. And here's why. Um, they're going The way they're going to pay people back is Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are going to be paid back in those coins. So they're not going to liquidate the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. They're just going to give people who they owe money to those coins. Now, those people could actually liquidate to pay off whatever debts they have. That is entirely possible, and I can't speak on that. But MT Gox itself, with its um, supply of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, are only going to pay those people back in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. They're not going to pay those people, liquidate those two assets for money. However, the rest of their assets, they said they will liquidate for cash to pay the other people back. So that's how it's going to go. So that's why it's probably going to hurt other assets they own, notably probably Litecoin, Ethereum, XRP. It's probably going to hurt those more than Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash because if they own those coins, they will have to liquidate those. And I know that MT Gox had large amounts of, you know, just a lot of big coins at that time. And, you know, all those things that I mentioned in at the end of 2013, um, you know, at the end of 2013, you know, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, they all existed back then. So they actually have a large amount of those coins. And when they liquidate everything besides Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, it could probably crash those coins pretty hard. I'm thinking they'll probably most likely crash Ethereum the most because that's probably, besides Bitcoin, that's probably the one they have the most. Um, but Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are right now so far insulated because they are not going to liquidate them. They're just going to pay in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I'm not really sure why they're not doing that for the rest of the coins, but for the rest of the coins, they are actually going to uh, liquidate. So watch out for a crash from that if that happens. If you know, if Bitcoin and Bitcoin ca crash, uh, Cash don't crash all of a sudden, and then Ethereum or XRP or whatever does, then you'll know why. It's because of the MT Gox liquidations to pay back their debtors. So watch out for that. It may or may not happen. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I don't know how much MT Gox actually has of Ethereum, XRP, and the other coins, but they will liquidate them to pay back debts. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.